<laughs> gonna gonna do uh, stand guard there for the next six hours. All right. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Fort Loudon, Pennsylvania. Located a little northwest of Hagerstown, Maryland, Fort Loudon is a reconstruction of a colonial British outpost built in 1756 on the Conococheag Creek. Notably, it was a site of a populist uprising against the military encampment by colonists way back in 1765. I was joined in this trip by my friends, Mary and Chaz, who I'm sure will do a better job hosting than myself. Welcome to Fort Loudon. You gotta talk to it loud enough that you can. You, you the loudest one. Welcome to Fort Loudon. Okay, now like. Where history becomes reality. <laughs> on second thought, I'll just do the talking. We came to the fort not just to see the reconstruction, but also to take part in the 18th century market, hoping to find something to take back home without losing all our money. I started my shopping in Helltown, a name inspired by the 1756 uprising, where reenactors were selling used goods at low rates. I then made my way closer to the fort, where artisans who work in historic trades and other historically inspired areas set up shop for the weekend, selling all sorts of decorative and useful items. I was honestly impressed by the variety and quality of the work. Bags are sell. The bags themselves are, I, you know, I, I, the name is black powder pouches, but the bags that we call hunting bags, hunting mm -hmm. pouches, they're shot bags, shot pouches. They're used to carry um, the shot, ammunition, mm -hmm. and the tools to make your gun shoot. Generally. Okay. Acorn Forge, uh, we're a traditional blacksmith shop. I do a lot of 18th century accoutrements, uh, cooking, lighting, uh, forge weld chain, mm -hmm. uh, just about anything. Okay. That's about anything like that so, way. I started out as, as a baker, basically, and okay. then I branched out into more grocery-type items and more household things. So, This is not a sponsored video, but I have to say these comfits, or candied fennel seeds, are delicious. After spending just about as much as I was comfortable, I took time to relax, play a bit of cricket, listen to some music, grab a bite to eat, and meet some of the local interpreters. I portray a, a lieutenant with the Pennsylvania Provincials. Mm -hmm. um, the Provincials were sort of like the militia for Pennsylvania during the French and Indian War. And uh, so officers typically had the ability to purchase their own uniforms. Um, so they may not have always looked exactly like the uniform coats of their soldiers. Mm -hmm. um, officers usually would, would, would add some of the fancier lace um, just to kind of signify that this, something, this is someone more than just an enlisted soldier. Mm -hmm. Did you buy anything at the market today or uh, uh, anything you're so wearing that's new? I bought a spoon. Boil <laughs> <laughs> right. them till soft. So we're going to make cabbage pancakes with that. We'll make flour and eggs and milk, salt and pepper in there. Mm -hmm. And fry them up over the, the campfire. Um, we've done a loaf of bread already and mm -hmm. we're about to put some more in. So again, the one I was doing right there is going to be this bottom one, which only needs one season because I'm only hooking this off to something. Whereas the top becket, I need to be able to rove the block and then splice it. Mm-hmm. Undo this on two blocks. So, you know, it comes back up. I need a place to attach it. So this one actually right. has to have two different seasons. So it's a, it's a larger packet. Okay. So right now I'm doing this one season. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take this other one here. And I'll determine where I need to do the seasons and then seize that up. And I'll take both of them over to the bench place. Mm -hmm. And I'll stretch them with the big honking spike I have in there. Mm -hmm. And stretch up and over around the block. And it's going to sit right in these groups. And are you making this for a specific purpose? Like a uh, gun carriage lift or something? Or Well, for anything. It, uh, it's a block and tackle. I mean, mm -hmm. shipboard would have been called a handy billy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, so really any sort of heavy lifting. It's a simple machine. You know, dragon trees lifting carriages, uh, logs, you know, anything we needed heavy lifting to do, dragging. 
Yeah, it might be a little tacky to the car, so as long as you don't mind the, as long as you don't mind the smell, he's, he's gonna love it. That's the, uh, that's always the kicker. I love it, but yeah, just go ahead, just care about duck under the top. Thank you. Don't get tar all over you. Too late. Yeah, I was gonna say. That's all right. Bad damage. Well, I'm, I have a sign up here. It's called your kit for five bucks. There we go. Hey, yeah, do it. Get old. No need to watch. You're filming now. <laughs> I can censor. Please do. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Don't worry.